Hi, this is Jonathan Rosenhead, Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Torah and Psychology post for Pesach is titled Talk Therapy. The Rambam writes that there's a special mitzvah of Sipu Yitzhiz Mitzrayim on Lela Seder. And this is learnt out from the Pasuk of Zohar Sayom Azeh. Remember this day, remember the day that the Bnei Yisrael left Mitzrayim. But interestingly, there's a, there's a mitzvah to remember Yitzhiz Mitzrayim every day of the year. And this is achieved through reciting Kriya Shema every day. So what is special about Sipu Yitzhiz Mitzrayim on Lela Seder? Rav Soloveitchik explains that remembering Zohar can be interpreted in two ways. On one level, it is not forgetting, to not forget the past. And this is achieved by reciting Kriya Shema every day so that we don't forget the story of Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. But on another level, remembering has an experiential quality where we experience the events in the here and now, we relive the memory as if it's playing out before our very eyes. And this is Lela Seder, where we, where we feel as if we ourselves are now leaving Mitzrayim, where we ourselves have gone through the hardships of the slavery and we are now being redeemed. And in trauma, we often explain trauma and PTSD through, this, through a similar way. The traumatic memories are not just memories that can't, that can't be forgotten, that are not forgotten, but they, they are relived in the here and now. Post-traumatic stress disorder are traumatic memories that are being relived and they're stuck in the present and the person can't put it in the past where, they, where it belongs. And they go through a process of reco- recovery where they can process these traumatic memories. And when this is achieved, they reach a level of post-traumatic growth where a person is able to develop and advance and even grow as a result of the trauma. So we can say that Yitzhiz Mitzrayim is a traumatic memory and Lela Seder is a national process of, of being able to understand and process the traumatic memories of Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. So how is this done? This is achieved through talk therapy. The underlying strength of psychotherapy is in the power of words. The research has shown that the efficacy of psychotherapy is on par or even better than medication. And it's interesting that the Rabbeinu Bachai writes in Pashish Yisrael that he accentuates this quality, the power of words to heal. That they, he says that they are, they are guaranteed, words are guaranteed to improve a person's life, to make a person feel better. And he, he actually contrasts this to medication and he says there's a doubt over the efficacy of medication. It's not guaranteed in the way that words are to heal and improve a person's life. And this is why on Lela Seda, this, the, this, the story, Sipu Yitzhiz Mitzrayim, is a seminal feature of the night. We dedicate so much time to going over and retelling the story. The part of the Haggadah which is devoted to Sipu Yitzhiz Mitzrayim is titled Magid. And in the word Magid, it has the connotations of to talk, the Haggid, to speak. Because we need to talk. We need to engage the right hemisphere of our brain, the memory, the memory part of the brain, where we're able to interpret and understand the stories to give meaning and we also activate broker, broker's area, the language area of the brain, where we, give, we formulate words and sentences and give meaning to the hardships and the difficulties and the trauma of Yitzhak Mitzrayim and we can process it and develop and come out as free people. Have a great Shabbos, Chag Pesach Koshev and keep well.